Hey guys, it's Sarah. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me. I haven't done just a sit down, casual get ready with me in a little while now, so I was just in the mood to do one. And just like last time, I asked you guys on Instagram if you had any topics you wanted me to chat about, any questions. My skin feels very dry today. It doesn't look dry necessarily, but it just feels very tight. I have started using like a retinol serum at night from Paula's Choice and it's meant for like dry to very dry skin it says but I think my skin is still getting used to it because I do think it's been drying out my skin just a little bit even though I've only been using it like maybe two to three times per week anyway there's a little skin update for you um, so I'm using this hydrating primer from CoverGirl the one that's in my project pan I really like this primer so I, yeah I feel like we haven't really like caught up in a while and just like had a little chit chat so, I want to know how you guys have been doing with everything going on. I had a few people specifically ask me to like not even mention the coronavirus at all. And while I'm not planning on actually discussing the virus itself, some people did ask me like what I've been doing um, to keep busy and just keep entertained. I feel like it's just kind of relevant to all of our lives right now, like how we're coping, what we're doing during this time. So I'm not going to talk specifically about it really, but I am going to kind of just talk about like what I've been doing, what I've been up to to keep busy and I also just kind of want to catch up with you guys and find out how you're doing. Honestly, my day-to-day -day life has not been hugely affected just because I already work from home. So my job has not changed at all. Well, my job itself has a little bit, but the fact that I have a job and how my job is set up has not really changed. I actually did a work from home quarantine vlog if you're curious about like what my day-to-day -day work life looks like, I will link that. In case you're also like adjusting to working from home right now, it could be helpful. Yeah, I feel like even though my day-to-day -day life hasn't technically changed that much, other than the fact that I'm like not really going anywhere or leaving the house, which normally I do leave the house pretty regularly, it still feels very odd. By the way, I'm not really going to be mentioning the products I'm using necessarily just because I'm also talking, but everything will be listed down below. But I will mention this, this is the Pacifica A Light Clean Foundation. I recently sort of fell in love with this foundation after not really liking it for a long time. Pretty crazy. I talked about it in my last favorites video, but I thought I would kind of show you how it looks in action. So I have been quarantined now for probably um, over a month now. I think the day that I officially started like sheltering in place basically was March 15th and now it's April 16th. So pretty much we're entering month two now and I'll be honest, I really don't hate it. I feel very, very fortunate that I work from home and that my life has not been hugely affected, knock on wood. And I just feel like I have nothing to complain about. Like I know so many people are in really tough situations right now. And if that's you, like my heart goes out to you. I am so sorry. Like this is just such a unprecedented situation that we're in right now. So I do wanna know. I wanna know how you guys are doing and how you've been coping. I don't really feel like I've gone too stir crazy other than maybe a couple times I've felt kind of stir crazy, but if anything, I have been kind of enjoying it. I'm not enjoying the circumstances. I'm not happy that we're in this situation, but the whole staying home thing, you know, I don't hate it, <laughs> to be completely honest. Now, I do miss my friends. I've been talking to my friends um, mostly on this app called Marco Polo, which is sort of like a cross between Snapchat and FaceTime. You basically send video messages to your friends and they can be as long as you want them to be. They don't disappear after a certain amount of time. Um, so me and like my three closest friends have a like group chat going on in there. So it's kind of like you're talking to each other on the phone but like you can just kind of get on there whenever you're available instead of having to like schedule a call or a Zoom call or something. But yeah, so that's how I've been kind of staying connected with people and then just also talking on the phone. I feel like I haven't really gotten bored or anything. I'm not, I'm not one that tends to get bored. Like I can keep myself entertained pretty well. Okay guys, I'm back. I had to take a little break because I was realizing that I had no energy and I was probably coming off like really tired <laughs> at the beginning there. So I made some coffee 
and uh, it was the right decision. I also put on real pants because before I was wearing pajama pants. So I think I'm ready to continue. I almost thought about just stopping altogether and just filming this on a different day. But I think, I think all I needed was coffee. That was, that was the thing that I needed. Okay, so what were we talking about? I was putting on bronzer. I think I got half my face done with bronzer. So overall, I've been keeping busy by creating videos. That is, I mean, it always keeps me busy, but I'm really thankful to have a hobby like that now because not only does it take up a lot of my time, it also just makes me really happy and I just enjoy doing it. And I feel like more, I'm even more motivated and excited than usual to make videos. I think because it helps me just like keep my spirits up. And you guys have told me that it helps you too to just have a distraction or like an escape kind of through YouTube right now. I feel like it goes both ways. Like I'm helping you, but you guys are helping me too. So I hope you know that. I hope you realize that because I don't even know what I'd be doing with my time right now if I didn't have YouTube. I probably would be bored out of my mind. But for those of you who are looking for things to do, I've definitely been connecting with friends even more than usual. Friends that don't necessarily live near me, especially. If anything, this time has kind of inspired me to connect with people even more. So that's one kind of positive that's come out of it, I guess, if you want to try to look at the positives. But also been watching a lot of YouTube, just trying to stay connected with my favorite YouTubers. Somebody asked me who my current favorite YouTubers are, and I would love to tell you. Okay, the usuals. Jessica Braun. Jessica Braun is always, probably always gonna be my like number one favorite. Like as soon as she uploads, I have to stop what I'm doing and watch. She's one of those for me. I never miss an upload. I love her personality. I love her life, like her lifestyle just inspires me somehow. I don't know. She just kind of, has a cozy vibe, and I think that's why I like her so much. Also, Emily Noel, she's been also an OG. Kelly Gooch, I also never miss an upload from. Too Much Tosh, I also never miss an upload from her. She does a lot of project painting content, and she also is just very relaxing to watch. Also been really into Taylor Wynn lately. I discovered her actually through Jessica Braun, I think. She used to go by the Tayla. She lives in Seattle and watching her sometimes makes me miss Seattle because I'm like, oh, like I just remember how cozy it was there. She also has a very cozy vibe and just a very chill voice. I just, I really enjoy her, especially her vlogs. I find myself actually gravitating more towards like non-makeup content lately. Still from beauty YouTubers, just I tend to be more excited about their content that's not specifically about beauty. I don't know what that's all about. Raw Paint, I really like her. She does a lot of like sort of commentary videos. She does makeup, but she kind of talks about a lot of different topics on her channel. And I really like her. She's just, she's just different from like the average cookie cutter YouTuber. Also her voice is very calming. Right now I'm really gravitating towards people with calming voices. <laughs> Caitlin Ann, I've been watching her for so long. Um, and she kind of took a break from YouTube in there for maybe a year or so. But now she's back to uploading consistently. Um, well, she has been for a while now. But I really like her. She's one of those people that I feel like we would be friends in real life. I mean, all these people, really. But I feel like we have a lot in common. She, like, reminds me of my friends. So I think that's why I, that's why I like her so much. She does a lot of um, content focused on, like, indie brands. She's also cruelty-free. She does a lot of, like, Shop My Stash-related stuff, too. Like just kind of content around using what what you have. Oh, duh. Um, Rianne, I always love her. She is cruelty-free and vegan, and she just inspires me so much. I love her personality. Like, she just has such, you can just tell she's such a compassionate person. Her house is beautiful. I love any, like, home-related content from her. So, yeah, those are a few of the YouTubers I've been loving recently. Did I fill in my brows already? <sighs> I just filled in my brows without even like realizing that I was doing it. Isn't that crazy? So I do think I have been a lot more tired, like just oh, like generally low energy. I've just been wanting to sleep a lot, which probably just comes from like the lack of stimulation that I've been getting. My boyfriend and I have been pretty much quarantined together this whole time, which has been nice. I'm very glad to have somebody with me because I think I, even though I'm an introvert, I think I would get very 
lonely if I was by myself. Also, a few people have been asking. I thought I already talked about this, but I guess I haven't. I think I talked about it in an Instagram live, and I forget that, like, obviously not everybody watched that live, so not everybody's up to speed on this, but if you follow me on Instagram, then you've probably seen in my stories, I have a couple of new additions to my household. My boyfriend does not officially live with me um, at, the, at this point, but we have gone ahead and moved his cat and rabbit in because since he's over here a lot, it just kind of made sense. His cat, Tala, and his rabbit, who just goes by Bunny, both live here now, so you may have seen them running around in my stories. Heidi and Tala have, begin have been getting along very well. Um, I guess Tala has been here for, they've both been here for a little over a month now. We started them out with Tala in actually in this room and keeping them separated and like slowly introducing them. But now they're completely, they've been completely like coexisting for probably, probably a month now. I think I want to keep my eyeshadow pretty simple. I'm not feeling super inspired to do anything that complicated. So I think I'm just going to do a combination of Modern Renaissance and my e.l.f. Soiree single shadow, which is in my project pan. But now that they've been together for a few weeks, they've been... the two cats have been getting along really well. They're both very, like, non-aggressive personality types, and so they've been playing together, they've been chasing each other, they, they like, play, wrestle a lot, like, pretty much every day. <laughs> um, they'll just be, like, tumbling around together. Not aggressively, of course, they just kind of play, fight, and it's adorable. They're both very playful cats in general, so I think they're really enjoying being together. Here's some interesting, interesting tidbit. If you've been watching my channel for a very, very long time, then you might actually have met Tala a long time ago. So Nathan and I, my boyfriend and I, we've known each other for a long time before we started dating. Back in like 2017 into 2018, we were actually roommates and he had Tala then. That was way before I got Heidi. This was even long before I moved to Seattle and then moved back, so a lot has happened. But you may have met Tala because she was in a lot of my like very first videos on my channel. She would hang out in my room a lot, and so she would make a lot of appearances back then. But it's been a while. If anybody does remember that, I'm gonna be impressed. <laughs> so I just went in with Warm Taupe there. Then I'm gonna go in with Antique Bronze, which is in my eyeshadow roulette this month. But yeah, so I now have three critters as opposed to one. So that's new. But if you want to see pet stuff, definitely follow me on Instagram because I post on my stories about them like practically every day. They're always up to something. They're just adorable. And the bunny is adorable too. I've never had a rabbit before, so I don't know a whole lot about rabbit care. Obviously he does. It's actually, technically it's his younger brother's rabbit, so he hasn't had him for very long but he's just been taking care of him for the past several months. But he's a very good boy. We let him out and just let him run around. And the cats don't mind him at all. Heidi doesn't really know what to do with him. She kind of just watches him, but she's not interested in like attacking him or anything. She's just not that kind of cat. She likes attacking her toys and that's about it. It's been, it's been really fun and really interesting to have some extra critters around. And it's also been, you know, help keeping, helping to keep us entertained during this time. Honestly, I don't know how people without pets who are staying home right now are dealing. I don't know what I would do. I think I'd go crazy. But yeah, I got a lot of questions about that because I guess I didn't... I didn't really share about it like I thought I had. I, sometimes I forget who I've told what. But yeah, that's the situation with the... with the pets. You know what? I think I changed my mind. I think I actually do want to do something a little different. I think instead of um, Soiree, like I was going to use, I think I'm going to use Siren from the Elf Earth and Ocean palette. This is also in my eyeshadow roulette. I haven't used this yet this month, other than in my original video where I used all five of the shades. We did watch Tiger King. That was interesting. Somebody asked me, actually, this was one of the questions from you guys. Asked me what my thoughts are on zoos versus sanctuaries now that Tiger King is so popular. Generally, I am pro sanctuaries. I don't agree with animals being kept in captivity for strictly for profit. The only time I think it is okay for animals to be in captivity is if they have been have if they've come from a rescue situation 
and are unable to be released into the wild safely, like they just wouldn't know how to survive anymore. And I think sanctuaries, I'm not specifically talking about anybody in Tiger King right now, I'm just talking about my general viewpoint. I think sanctuaries can be an amazing educational tool as you know as long as the animals are being cared for and given a lot of space and being treated humanely so that is how i feel about that issue i think that there are always going to be bad apples in the sanctuary world in the zoo world um, i'm sure there are zoos where the animals are kept you know very humanely but like roadside zoos like the one if you've watched Tiger King. If you haven't watched Tiger King and you don't want any spoilers, I will go ahead, not that I'm really gonna spoil anything, but if you don't wanna hear about Tiger King, I'll put a timestamp for you to skip ahead to um, when I'm done talking about it. But I kinda did wanna talk about it just because I do have some thoughts. Roadside zoos like the one run by Joe Exotic, I don't agree with. I don't agree with the whole cub petting thing and getting getting people to pay to just take a picture with a cub or to pet a cub, like, that's just so unnecessary to me. And as a whole, Tiger King made me just really, really sad for the animals. And I just felt like overall the message was so discouraging because it was like there was nothing positive that came out of this whole mess. The whole thing was presented just like a reality show, basically, which I get that's why it's so popular. But I feel like they had so much influence with that show, so many eyes on that show, that at the very least, they could have had some sort of message of hope or like, here's what you can do to help these animals. Because no good for the animals came out of this whole situation, as we saw. But here's what we can do now to make sure that this stops happening. As far as Carol Baskin and her sanctuary in Florida. Not saying I'm a fan of Carol Baskin by any means, but I feel like her side of the story was not given as much attention as Joe Exotic's side of the story. I wish they would have given her more time to like talk about the reasons why she went from breeding cubs and doing the cub petting just like Joe Exotic did, why she stopped doing that and switched to running hers like a sanctuary and not breeding them anymore and not um, profiting off of cub petting and that sort of thing. I wish that she would have gotten some time to explain that, but instead it was just all about the drama. Jackson Galaxy, who is a cat guru person, he made a video in response to Tiger King and how he felt like it had kind of failed the animals and what he would have changed about it. And I, I'm gonna link that below because I thought it was really helpful. He talked about like, here's what you can do to actually help these animals because they didn't really give us any of that. Is that is that the gist of what I wanted to say? I think so. I hope that made sense. It just, overall, it just made me really sad. I feel like anyone who loves animals hopefully came out of that feeling really sad <laughs> because it's just a very, I mean, I definitely feel sympathy for honestly everyone in the show because it just kind of goes to show how people's trauma in their early lives can kind of culminate and turn them into the person that they grow up to be and can really influence their actions and it's just very sad. It just makes me sad that the animals are the ones that had to suffer as a result of their stupidity <laughs> and just their messed upness. I guess that's my two cents. I do I do wish that there'd been more of a, maybe not positive message, but motivating message behind it. And more of an educational message as opposed to just like making it such a drama ridden show. Somebody asked, what's one of your favorite board games? I really like Scategories. I feel like it's very underrated. I really love any kind of like word game. Scategories. Quiddler, that's a card game, but same thing. <laughs> Quiddler, um, Five Crowns also is kind of like Rummy, but it's a different kind of deck. Um, it's just a little bit different than Rummy. So on my eyes, I just used Siren from the Elf Earth and Ocean palette on my lid. And then the only other shades I have on are Warm Taupe in the crease and Antique Bronze in like the outer corner and lower lash line. And then Tempera on the brow bone. That's it. Another board game I really like, I feel like people don't really know about this one, but it's called Chronology. It's a history game, and you basically create a timeline of different historical events, 
Um, I'm not explaining it very well. I'm not making it sound very interesting, but it's really fun. You'll read a card to the next person uh, with the event and they'll have to guess where it lands like on their timeline. That's a really fun one. Somebody asked, how has the quarantine affected your beauty and makeup routine? At the beginning, I was putting on makeup almost every single day for the first couple weeks. I feel like I was wearing makeup more often than I normally do. Now I've gone back to probably wearing makeup like three to four days per week, but I've been trying to put on makeup as much as I can just because it makes me happy. On my lips, I put on the e.l.f. lip liner in Dusty Rose. I've been loving this lately. And then I have the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip in Buttercream Frosting. I'm trying to decide if I want to add a gloss on top of that. I am going to add a little bit of my NYX Butter Gloss. I'm trying to use this up this month. I really want to have this done by my next Project Pan update. I, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it, but I think I can. This is one of my favorite like springtime nude shades, or, like spring and summer. Just a really pretty nude. So I think that is about it for this get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was fun. Let me know how you're doing, how you've been holding up, what you've been doing to pass the time. Um, I could definitely probably use some more ideas. Most of my time has been taken up by YouTube and other than that, just like watching stuff. And I've been trying to like clean and organize a little bit, but I haven't really done that in the last couple weeks. I was doing that more towards the beginning, but I should probably get back into that. I really want to organize this closet in here. Yeah, but I did do a video where I organized my beauty room and kind of like set it up and decorated it. So if you want to see that, if you want some inspiration, I will link that. It was really fun to do. I think that's about it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to keep hanging out with me. Lately, I've been uploading four videos a week, but I always upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and sometimes Sunday nowadays. So I hope to see you again very soon, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.